It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit for L Shout out to San Antonio Kicks Expo event today, y'all. It was live, man. The Bro 210 pulled up. Steve was in the building. Captain for Kicks was in the building. You know what I'm saying? We had Rep Milwaukee, The Vintage, AJ, Unbreakable, Sniper Jones, Flight Academy Kicks. You know, it was a dope event. And I'm going to give you guys a quick little recap real quick of the event. Just showing you guys a couple sneakers and everything. Um, I was able to see the 450s for the first time. The Stealth 2.05s. I was able to see the Ash Stones for the first time. And definitely, definitely want to cop those. You guys will see those in the video. But I was able to get a sneaker or sneakers that got stolen from me a long time ago. And we gonna recap all of that and I'm gonna let you guys see. But first, y'all new, like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, join your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, follow your boy over on Instagram. Let's go ahead, let's rewind, take it back real quick and show you guys a little bit of the event. Y'all can enjoy a little bit of the music from the broski, my little brother, y'all you know what I'm saying? Nemo Bands. Let's oh, yeah. Stop playing with these niggas. Hmm. I was trying to slide for the paper Know that I slide on a hater Slide for a slide, this a favor Got it out the mud, bitch, gator Half on the lick, we hit major Niggas be watching like cable So I don't really need no neighbors Hostile little way, gon' shoot a nigga, see you later uh, Veggie on the barrel, now we playing hot potato uh, Coding at the table, cause you know I like the flavor I can never let a hoe do me no favors Waste it, even though she say she trying to fuck I wanna know, can you take it? Got me pulling out the ones, cause I wanna see you naked Got you busting like this chopper, bitch able to help me I had a size 11 and a pair of raging bull fives and my bro twin needed an 11 and a half yo they did a size swap for your boy I truly do appreciate that y'all that y'all did that and I'm able to help my bro get a pair for the retail you feel me that's how you do it man when you're trying to help out your fam but y'all title is not clickbait but it kind of feel like clickbait I was able to pick up this pack right here that I got stolen from you, man. And this is the first pack that I had ever owned in my sneaker collection, man. And this is the gold middle pack, y'all. I got this pack for $185. Pretty much, man. Pretty much, in a nutshell. So this pack is DS. Everything all the way down to the bags. You know what I'm saying? And look, yeah, it's a little yellowing down there and everything from the time and everything that these have been out. But I was able to get this pack for $184. Now, he wanted $500 for this pack, DS. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that sticker because, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's time for me to, I'm gonna have to pull these bad boys out and put them to work. It's crazy because I had to match the matching shirts back in the day to match these, but they're regular, they're just gym tees now. I don't really get down with wearing the, the Jordan match shirts anymore. That was kind of like, that was like my 2012 
era, 2011, 2012 era, wearing the matching Jordan shirts. But you guys can see lace bags still attached, all that good stuff. Got the little dust cover bags that came with them. DS, y'all. DS. I got these things for $184, man. And bro said he had an offer of 480 for him. And I was just like, yo, G. And I'm, I'm going to shout the bro out, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow him over on Instagram. Helping your boy to retro get this steal. But yes, we have the GMP pack. The gold medal pack. A pack that I had and it got stolen from me and I no longer had it. And I had to get it back. And y'all, all I did was just trade, man. I gave him a pair of DS size 11 mochas. Y'all let me know if you guys think that I won it or I lost it in my eyes. I feel like I won because I already had a pair of mochas and I still have a double up. So I traded my triple up so I could get this pack back in my collection for me. This pack, you know, it meant a lot to me, especially that this was the first pack that I was able to ever purchase. Um, when the pack started coming out and everything, I was overseas in Korea. When this one dropped, I was over in Germany. I stood in line, even though it wasn't really nobody out there. I was able to secure this pack for myself and for my bro, Reyes. Um, and I was just like, dang, man, when I gave him that offer, because I went up there and I was like, yo, you got any mochas? He was like, nah. I was like, did you have any? He was like, yeah, I said, how much you sold them for? And I think he said like 500. So when he said that, he wanted these for 500. I was like, yo, I got a pair of mochas, dead style. Let's run the trade if you cool with it. And G said, hey, we can run the trade. So huge shout out to SA Steels, man. Y'all can check them out over there on Instagram, man. The bro held it down for me, man. Let me get this trade off. I'm super happy. And y'all know that's why I normally double up on sneakers is so that I can get other sneakers that I missed out on. This one right here, man, just a... Hey, I only got to wear these maybe like three times, man. I think I wore these like four times before they got stolen. But yes, finally got the pack back in the collection. Y'all let me know what you guys think. If the mochas for this pack was a decent trade or not. I know nine days, a lot of people would... You don't really, I don't really see too many people wearing either one of these sneakers, but you know what I'm saying? This is definitely a dub to me, but y'all comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If y'all new, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Head over to Instagram, follow your boy at the Retro Wiz Kid, posting pictures daily for y'all. Y'all already know, stay tuned to the channel. More heat gonna be dropping, man. This week we have... We got a good bit of videos that we're going to be dropping. I still got some shoes that I ain't shared with you guys. We're going to recap the first quarter, show you guys what I picked up from January to March. And y'all already know, man, I love y'all. Stay tuned. Peace, love, in Laguna Beach. And we out this thing. Yay! It's a couple Jordan 1 retros, and they got to be in your collection. You just collect them, you never going to step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I got to lace up these black cement threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, place a bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from the bottom.